the coast of California. Wallace Stegner wrote that other places, by comparison, seem lesser, smaller, duller, less promising, less exciting. Max Whitaker for the New York Times Good Morning. Want to get California today by email? Here's the sign-up. In 1967 the novelist Wallace Stegner wrote Like the rest of America, California is unformed, innovative, a historical, hedonistic, acquisitive, and energetic, only more so. I've been repeatedly reminded of this over the last 14 months as the writer of this newsletter. But now, it's time for a bittersweet personal announcement. Today is my final California today. I've decided to leave the Times to pursue new opportunities. The Times will continue to publish California today, and it will remain as strong and vibrant as ever. In fact, the Times is looking for a new writer to take it over. In the meantime, other Times journalists will fill in. For me, it's been a dizzying experience who saw California's transformation into America's rebel state, devastating floods and fires, the end of a five-year drought, a raucous debate over campus speech, UAL misconduct crises in Hollywood and Sacramento, and so much more. If I'm honest, the challenge of trying to convey so much drama every day has been at times overwhelming. How could it not be in short, California is messy but it's also where the future is made. You can't help but be enthralled by it. Over the coming year, California will face the start of recreational marijuana sales, an affordable housing crisis, a major fire recovery effort in a governor's race. I'll miss this job. I feel honored to have held the post. And truly, thank you for reading. All right, back to the news. California Online Please note we regularly highlight articles on news sites that have limited access for non-subscribers. A Los Angeles property on the market in 2014. Provisions of the Republican tax plan could be a blow to owners, builders and prospective buyers of higher-end properties. Nick Ute Associated Press A Republican tax plan unveiled on Thursday takes aim at a provision that subsidizes homeownership. It would hammer homeowners and builders especially in higher-priced cities on the coasts. The New York Times and like some other states, where health insurers are fleeing and rates are rising, California is doing a pretty good job of making the Affordable Care Act work. 538 Senator Kamala Harris is cementing a reputation as the most outspoken ally of immigration activists on Capitol Hill. Fox Tom Steyer, the billionaire progressive donor, spoke to reporters during a protest outside the Vista office of Representative Daralissa on Tuesday. Mike Blake Reuters The California billionaire Tom Steyer is spearheading a campaign to impeach President Trump that has gathered more than 1.4 million signatures. Representative Nancy Pelosi says it's become a distraction. Politico The Las Vegas shooter, Stephen Paddock, had been losing money for two years and was showing signs of depression, said Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo. Newsweek More men have accused Kevin Spacey of UAL assault. His publicist said HES seeking treatment. The New York Times An aerial view of homes destroyed by fires in Santa Rosa last month. Jeff Chu Associated Press A homeless encampment in a Santa Rosa underpass has nearly doubled in size in the wake of devastating fires. The Press Democrat In 2015, more than 10 million acres of land burned in wildfires, three times what burned in an average year in the 1970s. Opinion The New York Times Asian Americans are being targeted in a wave of robberies in Sacramento. The police have arrested more than 50 people. Sacramento B. President Trump's Twitter account was shut down by a rogue customer support worker on the employee's last day at work. The New York Times cargo parked at the Port of Los Angeles. Monica Almedeth New York Times The Los Angeles Long Beach Port Complex, Southern California's biggest single source of air pollution, approved a plan to move towards zero emissions technologies. Cost up to $14 billion. Long Beach Press Telegram California should join the effort and move toward banning sales of new carbon-emitting vehicles as soon as is practical. Opinion Los Angeles Times Rain is expected to soak much of California, including areas hit by fire, between Friday and Monday. AccuWeather The Dodgers starting pitcher, Yu Darvish, who allowed five runs in one and two thirds innings on Wednesday night, at the ninth inning of Game 7 from the dugout.
Jane come in on Sosa today sports, via Reuters this pain is going to stay in me for a while, said Dodgers pitcher Yu Darvish, who pitched abysmally in Games 3 and 7 of the World Series. The New York Times How Racism Made Me a Dodgers Fan Opinion The New York Times photos a floating concrete house in La Jolla won a big architecture award. San Diego Union Tribune, Archdaily and finally, Joe Ricketts, center, made his fortune at TD Ameritrade and founded Dana Anfo in 2009 to focus on local news. Natty Harnik Associated Press just like that, laced in SFIST are gone. The popular news sites went dark on Thursday after its parent company Dana Anfo shut down the entire Gothamist network of city-centric websites. The move came a week after reporters and editors at the New York newsrooms of Gothamist and Dinner Anfo voted to join a union. On Thursday, visitors to the websites were greeted by a post from Joe Ricketts, the company's billionaire owner and founder of TD Ameritrade. He praised journalists who reported tens of thousands of stories that have informed, impacted, and inspired millions of people. But he added, Dana Anfo is, at the end of the day, a business, and businesses need to be economically successful if they're to endure. Mr. Ricketts, who started Dana Anfo in 2009 and bought Gothamist last spring, had been outspoken in his dislike of unions. As the company's New York employees moved to unionize last spring, management warned that Dana Anfo had been losing money for years. Mr. Ricketts later wrote, I believe unions promote a corrosive user them dynamic that destroys the esprit de corps businesses need to succeed. Dana Anfo websites attracted more than 9 million visitors a month, according to the company. For years, the SFIST and LACE websites have been lively hubs for local reporting. Fans took to social media on Thursday to bemoan the shuttering of the sites. Shelby Grath, who oversees Metro coverage at the Los Angeles Times, said in a tweet that the laced had been a vital part of the city. Terrible for it to simply disappear, he wrote. California Today goes live at 6 a.m. Pacific Time weekdays. Tell us what you want to see Cassidy at nighttimes.com. California Today is edited by Julie Bloom, who grew up in Los Angeles and graduated from UC Berkeley.